So let's begin our custom bottle shape in Adobe Dimension. Uh, there are a number of starter assets here in Adobe Dimension already. Uh, this one you can see is square. This one is round. We're not going to create a square bottle. We're actually going to create a round one. But as I mentioned, we're going to create a custom one. So we can delete that. Um, our journey starts actually in, um, in researching uh, bottle designs. And so you just go to Google and uh, do a search of bottle profiles or bottle shapes. Um, I uh, just started out with this Glow Pack Bottles, which is a company that makes bottles. And um, it allows me, again, to quickly get to a number of um, uh, silhouettes. You want to find uh, a bottle that you like. Uh, it can be something simple, it can be something elaborate, but you want to find uh, something round and um, something uh, that's you know facing front. So a full uh, front view silhouette of the bottle is the best thing to start with. And so you can go to websites, bottles like these, um, these types of bottles, drawing. Uh, and I'm going to go with something like this here. Um, this is, is just not completely round as it has this sort of wavy detail at the bottom, but we're not going to concern ourselves with that. Um, and so what we're going to do is get this into InDesign. So I can uh, download this. This is a PDF. Uh, I can download this or uh, what I'm going to do is just take a screenshot of it and bring that in. Because what we're going to do is trace half of the bottle. So let's get this guy out of the way and we can hide this guy and launch our Illustrator. And our screenshot is right here on my desktop and I'll just drag that into uh, Illustrator. Uh, all right, and it seems I have my preview on. So there we go, um, our line preview. So let's make this full. Okay, so here's our bottle. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to create a rectangle around this to give us the um, basically the, the exact size uh, so that we can find the center point because that's what we're looking for. So let's just zoom in here, check the width here, and that's pretty good. This is going to be flat, so I can start it there. All right, let's go up to the top. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's close. Okay, so let's create another layer and we're going to drag our rectangle to this layer. We can select this little square, drag it on over, and now our rectangle is up there. We're going to lock our bottle down and we have our rulers here. If you didn't have your rulers on, you can do Control R, turn those on. We're going to, we're going to uh, hit uh, Control Y and there's our center of our bottle. You can see it, or not the bottle so much, the center of the of the, the bottle image is here with the X, but we want this. This is the center of our rectangle. So we're going to draw a line or pull a guide right there to the center. Go back to our full view, turn the preview back on, and there we go. Now we have our center line. Our bottle is here and our rectangle is there. So we will now delete our rectangle because we really don't need it anymore. Goodbye. And we're going to start tracing our bottle. And again, it doesn't have to be super perfect. Um, because you can change your shape at any any moment. And of course, for the, the end designs that we're doing, you're going to create a custom bottle. But to get started, uh, just find something and trace it. So we'll start about here. And I'm just going to do points right now, and we'll come back and do make these curved. The only curve we'll deal with right now is this long one on the side of the bottle. And we want to come up to about here and we can come back and fix that down below later and I'll put another point about there and then straighten out about there uh, come up to here and we can't see underneath this um, foil type uh, wrap so we'll just make up our own little design here because we've seen a few bottles and we'll go up and I'm going to put a little um, chamfer there at the top. All right. And that's really it. So I'm going to zoom in here because I don't know if I hit my, I can see that I didn't hit my guide. And we'll just 
bring that on over. Not a big deal. Come back down, check out our whole bottle. Okay, we need to come back in and fix this. Again, also not a big deal. Bring this down. Pull this guy like that. Come in and check it. And that's pretty good. I don't think we need to fuss over it too much more. Maybe bring this guy down a little bit to there. All right, I think we're good. All right, but this is a little off here. So we don't want to bring these guys up to the, oops, I just want to select, just want to select the points here. There we go. Bring that up to about there and we'll select these points and bring that up to about there. Okay, let's see. I think I want to bring this in a little bit. just want to bring in this top portion so let's select our points and bring that over some more like that fix this guy back and let's see if we moved everything because something looks a little nope everything's good I thought things were a little bit off and we'll just bring this out a little bit yeah I think I moved everything <coughs> excuse me I moved everything just a tad but again not a big deal okay so now we have our line that we want so let's uh, turn the bottle layer off and you can see there's my half line all right um, and then I wanted to soften these points here at the bottom and so we'll select them and if you don't see these little points it's probably because you have um, hide edges on and so now when I select this I don't see my points so it's selected but I don't see the points. So um, I go back up to view, I turn on show edges, and now I get the uh, the points. And I really want this little guy in here, which is uh, to make the, the corner a nice round corner. So I don't need to do that one. I'm just gonna do the, um, the outside like that. And then this one here, and we'll do that about like that. And that's good. Okay, so. And from here, we want to give this some thickness. So we'll hide this. And what I'm going to do also is I'm going to duplicate this layer because sometimes I mess stuff up. And so I don't want to have to go back too far. Of course, we want to save, make sure we got that. All right. And we'll just save it to the desktop for now. Okay. And so what we want to do we want to offset this to give it some thickness. And I'm going to um, turn this back on just so I can see, make sure I offset the right way. So object, uh, path, um, offset path. So I'm going to zoom in on this just down here. Actually, I'm going to zoom in up at the top. We don't want to get the, the neck too, too thin. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to bring this back out because it seems like it's just a little too to then right there okay I'm gonna move this guy again and then you once more I think there we'll leave it there okay so um, we want to turn it back off select our path oops one more I move that out back to our guide okay so we want to select this off object um, path offset path and you can see that it uh, creates uh, an inside and outside line and so we're only concerned really with the thickness on the inside here so uh, this thickness is okay let me see what did I have in there but I'm gonna go point one um, five how's that okay I'm gonna stay with that and I'm gonna go okay and now we have to deal with get rid of this outside line basically so we will uh, select our point here and we will um, actually we'll select the point here and we will go to our cut tool which is C press C on the keyboard cut it there go down to the bottom of your bottle right here I'm gonna cut it there all right and then we're going to select the outside line and we're going to delete that and we're going to um, hide our guides and we're going to connect 
our inside and outside line there. Go up to the top, do the same thing, collect the, connect that there. All righty, and I think we're good there. Just wanted to check this. We have two lines here. We can probably get rid of our two points, get rid of one, unless we wanted to soften that up some. And I think we're good with that. Okay, so this is the first part of um, your bottle shape or bottle design. And we're going to take this and actually uh, uh, go into Photoshop and we will actually make the 3D object in Photoshop. And from Photoshop, we'll bring that 3D object into um, Adobe Dimension.